Hey guys, Guitar News today. It's Reverend Hal Billy. So, today's Guitar News is about Lemmy from Motorhead. Um, Lemmy passed away on December 28th, five years ago. And uh, when he passed away, he wanted some of his ashes to be taken and put inside of bullet shells and uh, given out to his best friends. So, or his good friends, I should say. So, they did that finally. It took five years. And, uh, Ricky Rackman got one of the bullets. Ricky and, and, and Lemmy are really good friends. Um, Motorhead used to play like the Cat House all the time, which was a club that Ricky owned. And Ricky even says, you know, like if they needed him for a barbecue or something and they were in town, they would do it in a heartbeat. So those guys were cool with each other. And uh, so they handed out the bullets, though. Or they've been doing it. You know, people would get it in the mail. And Ricky said when he got his... You know, he tweeted how he, it, you know, it really, he didn't know what it was. It was in a little box and he was opening it up and he pulled it out. And he's like, oh, what is this, you know, this cool plastic box. And he opened it up and it says Lemmy on the shell. And uh, he said he was brought to tears by it. You know, it's kind of crazy. You know, five years later, he gets this from your, from your friend, you know. So Lemmy was a super cool guy. You know, if you ever worked with Motorhead, I worked with Motorhead in about 1986. And... Lemmy treated me just phenomenal. I mean, he really did. He treated me really good, and I never, ever forgot the way he treated me. He's just a fantastic person. Um, I miss him a lot. You know, he was a cool guy. Um, in 86, when they and I worked with them, then their next major record that came out was uh, 1916, which is just one of my favorite Motorhead records to this day, like ever. I love 1916. And not to bring it down, but it took me, this was a hard episode for me to do on Guitar News because Fast Eddie Clark died a couple years ago. So the guitar player from Motorhead's gone, Lemmy's gone, and Phil died before that. And Wurzel, who was on, you know, in 86 when I met them, he was a guitar player. He passed away, and, you know, Lemmy took that hard. And uh, so the original three guys are all gone, you know, and it's pretty sad. Um, but man, the, the, they lived hard, you know, they rocked hard. They lived hard. They partied hard. <laughs> let me party hard. <laughs> you know, let me would ask you, Hey, do you want to drink? And he would give you a bottle of Jack Daniels, not a shot glass or something. So <laughs> cheers to Lemmy. We all miss him. He was just the, he's an icon of rock and roll and, and he's still, you know, pulling off guitar news. Um, I, you know, I got the story last Monday, and I did the research, but I just couldn't do it. It was my birthday, and there was no way I could bring you the story on my birthday. No, I just couldn't do it. I had to wait. It's a week later, and here's the story. So, let me right on, dude. You're still a metal god, and if you like guitar news, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Smash that like button. And I'll bring you some more guitar news. There is a new Motorhead record coming out. I'm going to do the research on it and bring you that in a week or two, okay? So if you like this, subscribe, and then you'll know when I do that next Motorhead story, all right? I bring you news Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm the Reverend Hellbilly Guitar News. Cheers. Have a great day.